everyone. I'm really excited about today's video. I've gotten a bunch of questions in the past about using a multi-effects unit with the saxophone. First impressions are really good. I really like it. The only thing for me is this seems to be really geared toward guitarists. So there are a lot of things that I don't really need in here, especially for the price of this particular piece of equipment. So what I have here is a Helix Line 6 LT. So this is a really great utilitarian piece. It does everything that you could want it to do. Uh, for me, it almost does too much. You can use it as a pedal board. You can use it as several different pedal boards. You can plug directly into the mixer with it, or you can go into an amp or anything else that you'd like to do. It has preamps on board. It has all sorts of amp modeling. So my signal chain is through my SM57 into this art tube preamp, which you can see in some of my other videos. It's going into the Helix LT. Um, and then I'm going out into an interface into my DAW. So that's my whole system. So today we're going to check out some of the effects on the pedal and we're going to go in and create a preset. This pedal does way more than that and there are better videos out there for it. I just want to see how it sounds with my saxophone. So here we go. I've already got a preset set up here just so you can hear some of the sounds. This is highly customizable. I can't overstate that. You can choose all sorts of different parameters, just as you would change the knobs on a pedal. Um, this has all sorts of different things here with, I'm on a delay pedal right now. You can choose, you can affect all of these different uh, aspects of the sound. But right now I'm not really gonna change anything. I'm gonna leave pretty much what's in the system. So the display, there's a little bit of a learning curve in the beginning with it. You're essentially designing your pedal chain here. But once you get used to it, it's fairly intuitive. So I have here, um, each of these buttons is uh, corresponds to something up here. So I've got my different colors. I've got essentially two different purples here for a uh, pitch shifting effect, a wah effect. This is uh, a modulation. And then this is a delay. Here is our reverb. And all of these different colors correspond to different things in the line six system. So we'll go ahead, we'll start with just the pitch shifter on. So here's how that sounds. As I said, this is highly customizable. So you can go in and uh, edit the interval. You can change it to pretty much any interval that you want. I have it set on an octave right now. So that's the pitch shifter. Now we'll try the wah. Try the modulation. Here's the delay pedal. That was delayed. Now we'll try reverb. So 
So that's the preset that I created. Now let's go in and try and create another preset. So I hit the preset button, then I use my joystick to go over here, and then I'm gonna go down to user two, create something new. Then we'll just go new preset. And here we have a blank screen. So now we can create whatever we want. So let's go ahead and set up another pedal board. Um, it allows you basically eight different spaces in here. Um, so you can create whatever you want. So it says press joystick to open model list. And so that's gonna give us all of our effects that we have. So we've got distortion, dynamics, those are things like that, noise gate, effects like that. Let's go back over here. We've got EQ, we've got modulation, like our flanger, that sort of thing. We've got delay, reverb, and each of these has a whole bunch of options for us to select from. So we'll go in and pick some here in just a second after we finish looking through the list. We've got reverb, We've got uh, pitch shifters, synthesizer, that sort of thing. All sorts of cool stuff. Then we've got a filter, a wah. And then here's where I said it's very guitar oriented. You can go in and pick an amp and a cab, amp, preamp, that sort of thing, cab. Then you can customize it even further. It's got all sorts of things, basically whatever you'd want, a nice looper at the end. Okay, so let's go ahead and stick with some of our more standard effects. Let's go ahead and put in, I really like the pitch. So let's go ahead and pick one of those. We've got, let's do just simple pitch. All right, awesome. And then we can change our interval here, as I said. So let's go ahead and change it, I don't know, up an octave, cool. Um, now you have to go in with this piece of equipment and save every time. If you don't do that, it definitely won't save it. So we'll go in and call this new preset one. All right, very clever. And we'll go ahead and go in there and save. So now we have new preset one. Awesome, so we've got our octave up. And as I said, we can really customize that as much as we want. I'm not gonna change it too much for the sake of this. Now, the really cool thing about this is you can assign each of these little uh, buttons to your effect here. So let's go ahead, all you have to do is touch it and then hit okay. And so now the purple light shows up. I love that it's color coordinated. Um, so now we've got our purple light here associated with our pitch shifter. All right, awesome. So let's add something else in there. I always like to add a reverb at the end. So we'll go ahead and find our spots here. And that's our last spot. Let's go ahead and put some reverb on there. All right, let's do, got all sorts of fun things. Let's do this spring reverb, awesome. As I said, you can change it as much as you want. Let's put a little more on there, awesome. Okay, so now we'll uh, select, I like this guy to be my reverb, awesome. All right, let's go back over here. And as I've said in some other videos, your time-based effects go toward the end. So we've got reverb. Let's go ahead and put a delay right here. Excellent. So let's do, um, and there's so many options. Let's go ahead and do vintage digital. That'll be nice. Okay, what else should we add in here? Let's see what else we have on our list. EQ, modulation. Um, let's go ahead and put a filter. That'd be neat. Let's do, ooh, mystery filter. Very cool. We'll, oh, I forgot to assign them. We'll do this guy with that one. Awesome. And then we'll go back over here. And we'll set this up here. And we'll do that one for our delay. Great. And then we'll add maybe Maybe one more thing. Let's do modulation. We'll do, let's do chorus, that'd be neat. All right, and we'll set this guy up with that. As I said, we need to go back in and save, save, excellent. So now we're set up with our new preset. Let's go ahead and check this out. All right, now we're gonna test out the new preset that we just created. I think I wanna start this time with our little reverb. Let's do our modulation effect. 
All right, here we go. Okay, next let's try our filter. So that was our filter. That was kind of awesome. Let's try our pitch shifter. All right, and then we just have our delay. To make this one a little different, I'll change the decay time. Make it tighter. Yeah, pretty much like the other one. All right, let's try and combine some things. So we'll add our chorus and then maybe our pitch shifter. <laughs> Our new preset one. Thanks so much for checking out this video. This has been my first foray into using a multi effects unit, and I would say my first impression is really favorable. I haven't even scratched the surface of what this piece of equipment can do, and I'm really excited to check out the other sounds. Please comment below if you've had an experience with a multi effects unit. Let me know what you think. Let me know what kind of unit you're using. I'm really curious to hear about everyone's experiences. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more saxophone content. Thanks!